Hello and welcome to this week's Modern Toy Fair Reviews. Today we're going to be taking another deep dive into Customs and Kit Bash with my very own version of the Flashpoint Thomas Wayne Batman. This figure is made up of three different Mezco Batmans, along with the Milliworks Bat Dad set that I uh, pre-ordered a few months back and finally showed up, so I'm super excited to show it off. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's start with the makeup of this figure. So the base body is the Mezco Sovereign Knight Batman, the regular edition, and then we have the tactical armor from the Justice League Batman. I did go through and add the chest emblem from the Sovereign Knight to this one. I shaved it down and glued it on after I was done painting it. Um, you will notice I went through, painted all of the straps red, kind of like a darker red compared to the red on the circle. The head is the Sovereign Knight Batman as well. I did paint the eyes red and then it's kind of hard to see in this, but he does have a little bit of that five o'clock shadow. I'm still on the fence if I want to possibly use the Supreme Knight head, so it's a little older, but we'll, we'll kind of see how it turns out. Moving on to the legs, you'll see more of just where all the red straps are painted. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but it definitely isn't. It's a lot sloppier than I'd like, even down to the boots. I've got like the straps and the toes on the boots, um, both sides of them. He's a little better look on this side. And then for the gauntlets, I did paint all the knuckles on all the hands red, the blades on them red, and then the straps as well. Overall, I absolutely love how this turned out. I just wish I was a little better at painting so it was a little cleaner. Alright, so let's take a look at some of the Milliworks pieces that I got in the mail. First we have the belt, which as you can see, all of the, the pouches and stuff on the sides, absolutely incredible sculpting on them. All the different wrinkles, and even have like the silver buttons against that like dark, dark red. I really love how that turned out. But the piece that really sticks out is the buckle itself that's supposed to hold the belt in place. You've got that silver with the red, and then it kind of, where it comes down, there was a strap that used to go to the holster. However, I removed it just because I didn't like the way the strap looked on this figure, especially considering what my plan was for the actual holsters themselves. Uh, when you flip it around, though, you'll see this really cool looking back piece that you have to essentially glue together. It slides inside there. Uh, because of the armor, is a little thicker than what they intended for, so I had to hold it to make sure it dried. So it was a little bit of a pain, but it was really cool for the result. Now, the holsters. Incredible sculpting again, I glued them to his armor, and I think they look fantastic. And the red matches the red I used really, really well. The sculpting on it, got all those lines, and then you've got this really cool, you got two of them, but you get pistols. And, oh, 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 oh I don't know where that went. Um, we'll find it later. Here, let me get the one out of the other holster then. Give me one second here. There we go. All right, so let's try this again. So you have these beautiful pistols, great work on them, a lot of detailing. You've got the silver, you've got some scuffs on them. We got like a little red dot back near the like where the safety switch would be. And now we're gonna take a look at the shoulder pads, which honestly were the best part. The whole reason I even ordered this set. You have incredible sculpting. It's meant to give that kind of pointed shoulder look of the cape without having to have someone make a cape that works that way. And it definitely fits for this armored style of Batman. And you've got like, look, look at this, you've got all these different layers going through it. All of it comes kind of connecting through. Right now, it's not glued on there, because I'm still deciding how I want it to set. So as you can see, it just comes right off, but I just kind of have it squeezed on there for the time being until I figure out exactly how I want it to look. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for this week's video. As always, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the little bell to get notifications when our videos go up. We have Modern Toy Fair reviews on Mondays and Modern Toy Fair news with me and Jamar on Fridays. If you want to support the channel, there's a little link below for tpublic.com. It takes you to our store. We have all sorts of different shirts and mugs, phone cases, pillows, all sorts of stuff with our logo on it or just other designs that I've worked up in Photoshop, so feel free to give those a look. Also, make sure to check us out on social media. Twitter and Instagram are at Modern Toy Fair. We do currently have a giveaway going on, so also check out Modern Toy Fair News to hear more about that. Hopefully, we'll see you next week, same toy time, same Toy Fair channel. Thank you for watching.